Hello, my name is Jared. I'm a mechanic here at Utah Trikes. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall your rear wheel if you have an internally geared hub. We are going to go over our two most common hubs, the new Vinci N380 and the Roloff 14 speed. So let's get started. First, we are going to start with the new Vinci N380 rear hub wheel. The only tool you'll need is a 15 millimeter wrench. We will start by making sure that the shifter is set to the lowest position. You can do this by turning the shifter clockwise. You can tell by pedaling the trike. It should be the easiest to pedal. Then we will locate the cable keepers on the chain side of the new Vinci. To remove the cables, flip up the locking cover and shimmy the cable keeper out of its slot. Once the first cable is removed, we should have enough slack to remove the second keeper relatively easy. Now that the cables have been removed, we can take our 15mm wrench and loosen the axle nuts on each side of the hub. The wheel can now drop out of the rear fork. To reinstall the wheel, we are going to reverse these steps. First place the axle back onto the rear fork, making sure that the chain is set on the gear and tighten the axle nuts down. Then we will reinstall our cables by placing the first keeper back into its slot. Once the keeper is set, we will make sure to place the cable housing into its place. We can then route the cable through the channel on the opposite side and set the cable housing in its place. Then we will take the other keeper and place it into its slot. Now that everything is in place, we can check that the new Vinci shifts smoothly, properly, and you're done. Next, we will show how to remove and reinstall the roll-off 14 speed. Most of the time, your roll-off will have a quick release skewer, so you will not need any tools. However, if yours has axle nuts like the new Vinci N380, you will need a 15 mm wrench. First, we will start off where the shifter cables meet the hub. We like to call this the click box. The box controls the shifting for the hub and is easily detachable. Make sure to remember what gear you are in and not to change anything when removing the shifting components. Now we will loosen the thumb screw located on the click box and cable assembly should come right off. We can now put this out of the way. Finally, we can loosen the quick release or axle nuts if you have them and drop the wheel and hub right out. Now to reinstall the wheel and hub, we will reverse these steps. Start by placing the wheel back into the dropout. Make sure the chain sits correctly on the gear and line up the anchor bolt with the bracket on the roll off. Then tighten down the quick release or axle nuts. From here, we'll reinstall the click box by lining up the pegs located on the hub with the two holes on the shifting assembly. Then place the assembly onto the pegs and shimmy it until it meets up flush with the hub. Finally, tighten down the thumb screw. Make sure the hub is shifting properly and then you are done. I hope this video has helped you remove and reinstall the internally geared rear wheel on your trike. If you are watching this and looking to upgrade to an internally geared hub on your trike, check out the options that we have on our website. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact our support team through email and call us. We'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we can. In the meantime, relax, spin fast, ride trikes. That's the one. Beautiful. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>